What is up guys? In this video, we will quickly talk about the differences between visual odometry and visual slam. I previously made a series on visual odometry where we started from the very basics. So we understood what visual odometry is as a concept, then we looked at the math behind it, and then we also implemented a visual odometry example in C++ from scratch. If you don't know what visual odometry is, you can check out the first part of the series for the concept. And if you want to implement visual odometry, you have the second part. Now let's get into the differences between visual odometry and visual slam. Visual odometry is the process of estimating the ego motion or trajectory of an agent, let's say a robot or a vehicle, using only the camera's attack attached to it. In Visual Slam, using the cameras attached to the agent, we incrementally build a map of the environment and also try to estimate the position of the robot or the pose of the robot in that map. So we try to estimate both the map and the pose of the robot in the map. Essentially in Visual Odometry, the state space is only the pose of the robot, but in Visual Slam, you also include your map in that state space to be estimated. Now there's another big difference between the algorithm in Visual Odometry and Visual Slam. Visual Odometry is only concerned with the local consistency of the trajectory, but Visual Slam is interested in the global consistency of this trajectory. Now, this sounds slightly convoluted. What does this mean? As discussed in my visual odometry series, this is the algorithm for visual odometry. We mainly care about the robot's pose and that is in the state space you want to estimate. And a map only comes into picture when you want to do this last step of optimization. And this map is also local. We are not building a global map. So visual odometry primarily doesn't care about the map. And when it does, it's only the local map to further improve the trajectory of the robot and reduce the local drift. So in visual odometry, to reduce the drift, we can potentially optimize over the last n poses of the robot using the last n frames. And for that, the algorithm uses a local sparse map. But as I said, the map is not the focus and it is local. For example, visual odometry algorithm can use the last n frames using a sliding window in window bundle adjustment to actually improve the estimate of the robot using the 3D points only in the last 10 frames. But in Visual Slam, we care about the robot's pose and the map. We need to incrementally also estimate the map and improve it. And hence in Slam and Visual Slam, we use a lot more than local sliding approach to optimize and reduce long-term drift. Loop closure is used for global optimization and correction. And the word global is important here because we want to estimate the global state. Loop closure aims to detect a previously seen point by the robot and then based on that it can close the loop and improve the estimate of the state so that's why visual odometry is focusing on your local consistency because it doesn't care about where the robot is in the global map it only cares about the local trajectory and even if it's using a map it's just local so that you can reduce some drift but visual odometry focuses on the global estimate of the state space which includes your map and your robot's pose. So it has to maintain a lot of information around the global map as well. So to summarize, visual odometry cares about your local trajectory, your local map, and overall your local estimates to estimate the pose of the robot. And visual slam cares about the global state and where the robot is in the global map. Visual odometry is a lot lighter and less complex as compared to visual slam. That is because visual slam has a larger state space and enforces more constraints on the path of the robot. So I hope this video helped you understand the difference between visual odometry and visual slam. There are cases where visual odometry is trying to estimate the global state, but that's only when it is a part of a larger slam system. I hope this video was useful to you and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.